Hello and welcome, it's Darius Berazande. And in this video, I wanted to share a possible explanation as to why we're seeing so many very powerful dualistic energies in this time and what you can do about actually moving forward in your life during these times on earth. There's no doubt we're seeing a lot of things that probably if you talk to your friends, talk to your family, or just feel into your heart, you might say, I can't believe things, these things are happening on the planet. And you see people very separate, very polarized to certain viewpoints and understandings. And many people, even in the spiritual community, have commented to me and said, you know, I thought we were all beyond all of these things. I can't believe some of the things that we've seen over the last two years. And I want to give you a possible explanation through the work of spiral dynamics. Now, I've done presentations on spiral dynamics, and it really is a, a framework for understanding different levels of human consciousness. But in my opinion, it really represents certain access points and ability to understand the world that we live in. And when we're at one access point, we tend to only see that one level of reality versus being able to encompass, utilize, and apply different levels of reality. So let me go to my computer. I want to show you something. And I'm going to take a minute. I want to jump to uh, this presentation that I had done on spiral dynamics. And the main thing to understand is that where we are right now, let me note this with, uh, with a blue uh, ink here, where we are right now is literally, I believe, right here, right? So if you can see my blue line, we're right between these two areas, green and yellow. Now, what is the characteristic of, let's say, a green energy? Well, the green energy is all about this diverse, sort of earth-centric, uh, very loving and allowing type of energy, which is extremely positive. However, one of the issues with being at this level is that we actually are not able to integrate all the other levels below it. Now, we've kind of moved through these different levels, as you can see, as a humanity. But when we're right here, we tend to only see from the level of green. That means that there are a lot of people on earth that believe, for example, that dealing with climate change is the most important thing and everything else, even if it crumbles, even if the world literally ends because, or people go bankrupt or people starve, or uh, we shut down all oil production and then absolutely, you know, we go to green energy, whether we have all the infrastructure in place or not, it doesn't matter because it's so important. The challenge we face on the planet is they are people that have this green level of consciousness that isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just not integrated with wisdom. And when we get to the next level, which is yellow, that level actually is integrated to wisdom. So we're actually able to utilize all the other lower levels of consciousness, the other reference points within this wisdom of yellow consciousness. So in this green consciousness, what we have is a drive in society and by certain groups of society to actually break hierarchies and depression and focus on feelings and affiliation. So if you've ever looked at social media, you see a lot of people changing the badge, let's say next to their image, next to their name, feeling affiliated, we're in this together, we're doing all these great things, you know, sharing the fight. We talk about like breaking the glass ceilings, breaking these hierarchies and all of this stuff. But what actually happens if we're in a green consciousness, these can be good things, but the challenge is that feelings will override logic. For example, look at what happened with the defund the police about what, a year and a half, two years ago, we had a tragic situation happen in one city. And then people said, oh, we need to do this all over the US. And instead of looking at it from the standpoint of saying, okay, what were the systemic issues in that particular department or the specific issues around that particular person caused this issue? Feelings overrode logic and feelings actually were utilized 
to decide and make decisions across the country. And in some places, this has amounted to some very severe harm. Now, I will make another point here that because we are moving through these energies, there are also those that are in systems of power that understand where we are and utilize some of these imbalances to push these emotional buttons to move us forward into whatever agenda they want. The level of self here in green is the sensitive self. You heard a lot of arguments the last couple of years about, you know, love is love. You need to do this one thing for love. Many people were told you need to get a shot because, you know, you have to love your fellow human more than yourself. And if you're stopping to think about it or, you know, maybe question things, you know, what are you doing? You know, you're this selfish, horrible person. So this green energy is very prevalent in our world, but we have to go through this period of green energy to actually move forward and actually ascend in essence to the next level of energy and let me uh let me show you what that is this level of energetic is actually really important now i'm going to share again i'm not judging people or judging different ones as better or worse but the thing you have to understand through spiral dynamics is that if you are at yellow you can actually apply the green and all the other levels below it, but also having that synthesis, right? It's the first level that lets you actually work through all the other levels of reasoning rather than being stuck in one particular silo. This is why if you find somebody that's at a green level of energy and has a very strong belief about, let's say the environment and nothing wrong with that, but if you're a green thinking about the environment, you are very, very, very uh, focused on that above all other things. If you were a yellow concerned about the environment, you might say, well, here's the industries we can transition over. Here's the things that we need a 10 year plan, a 20 year plan, a 30 year plan, right? If you were dealing with the pandemic as a green, in the green level of consciousness, that person would say, you know, we need to make sure everybody gets a shot or they can't go outside, they can't travel, they can't even do anything, right? You had very extremist views. Somebody is at a yellow level, the way they would see it is, all right, you know, we're going to work on this for the most vulnerable. We also may look at other therapeutics. We may look at other ways to handle this. We may look at the latest research on this. We may do this, we may do that. So it's very integrative because when you're at yellow, you actually are motivated to learn and synthesize. You see order and hierarchy and you can move up and down. So you could look at the green and understand their viewpoint, but then bring wisdom. So one of the things that is very interesting about this level is that you have an integrated head, heart, and gut. In other words, there is an intersection between all of these things so that you are able to make those decisions in a balanced way. And again, as I said, we are at the cusp of a large number of people waking up to this higher level. Just be advised, this is what we're moving through. This is kind of like the, um, the shift that is happening. So we actually will move through it and we will begin to uh, integrate these different levels of consciousness in a different way as more and more people rise to yellow and start to look at what was going on at the green level. And this is actually incredibly healthy. It's a balance of consciousness because we went so far in one direction for a very long period of time. This is a balancing. So there's nothing, nothing wrong with this. This is absolutely what needs to happen. And as it does, we just want to make sure that we don't go in the other direction. But by virtue of spiral dynamics, if it's correct, when we reach yellow, we really cannot go in that other direction because we have this balance between head, heart, and gut. So it will not happen that way, but we will see. But hopefully this was uh, something helpful for you. Uh, if you have more questions about it, uh, I'll include a link to the presentation I did as well below. You can watch the whole thing. Obviously this work is incredible. I'm just sharing one aspect that seems to be happening at real time in today's world. Much love everyone. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.